All right, so what you're looking at here, it's maxed out native 4K 30. Now, the video is going to be 1080p, but in a pretty good uh, high bitrate quality. Uh, I was going to record native 4K, but it would just take so much of my uh, hard drive space, and it would take so long for YouTube to process it. But here I'm going to show you uh, what Flight Simulator 2020 can look if you max everything out and most likely this is what you're gonna see on a series X version I'm 100% confident this is exactly what you're gonna be seeing on a uh, Xbox series X version so we're gonna go ahead we're in Cairo over here look at some of these pyramids uh, we're gonna make uh, make our way across We're going to go back to Giza Plateau. I'm using the aerial uh, camera, like a drone aerial camera, just to give you a better idea how beautiful uh, this looks. That's the whole point here uh, I want to show you. Because I don't think other YouTubers out there really showcased uh, the beauty of uh, what this game can do. Obviously, you're gonna need a powerful PC to do it, but uh, this is just a little glimpse of what it can look like when everything's maxed out. Uh, it's almost photorealistic, honestly. It's almost, it feels as if uh, it's real. Even when you zoom in, when you check out some of these pyramids, it looks real. Now you're watching this on your phone, right? Now imagine what you're gonna experience with Dolby Vision native 4K 30 FPS. I just want you kind of to like wrap your mind around that, just how awesome it's gonna look. I really can't wait, to be honest with you. I can't wait for July 27th, just so I can see the comparison between Series X and Series S and I know you guys are waiting for that video so am I because uh, a lot of people are like wondering hey man you know is it plausible to play Flight Simulator 2020 on Series S uh, versus Series X and all of that I can't wait to do I can't wait to do those comparisons just so that way you guys can see uh, how it looks but as far as the Series X, I am like super confident this is what you're going to get without any doubt, you know. The only downside I could see is uh, your internet, your data, because this is being rendered by the Azure servers, so uh, Azure's uh, data center. So that could be the issue or the problem. But let's mix it up a little bit here. Let, let's see what we can do here as far as the, uh, the weather. Let's uh, add some wind to it, uh, some speed. There. Let's uh, also bring the clouds a little bit down like this let's go to the settings let's add some lightning to this and let's also Bring him down like this. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Let's uh, bring the weather up here. Time zone. That's it. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. This is all maxed out to the ultra. Uh, everything. And it's a 30 FPS, obviously. This is 30 FPS. Uh, 30 FPS 
steady 30 FPS. The, the plane is down below. Uh, I'm up above because I want to show you how beautiful this looks. I mean, look at this detail right here. Again, you know, you're not seeing what I'm seeing in, in terms of uh, native 4K, but when you finally connect your C10 or C1 or G1 or what have you with native 4K and Dolby Vision or HDR, um, you're going to be blown away uh, on July 27th. And you're going to say, oh my goodness. Um, You're gonna say this is why I got the Xbox Series X. You know, this is why I got Xbox Series S. And you can only play it there, as far as a console. You know, keep that in mind. You know, someone asked me something yesterday. Would PlayStation Five be able to handle this game? Yeah, of course, but that will never happen because you know, Microsoft would never let such a uh, important trademark as Microsoft Flight Simulator to ever be on Sony. That, that would just never happen. I mean, you're never going to see that. Ever. I honestly, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, that will never happen. Uh, certain partnerships with Microsoft and Sony might happen here and there, but as far as them, you know, giving away that their trademark of Microsoft Flight Simulator for 40 something years uh, to be playable on Sony just not gonna happen bro I mean look at this detail look at this this is just uh, mind-blowing and look at the formation of the clouds and how realistically they're being portrayed here Obviously, we need to add some more uh, lighting here, so we're going to pause it here for a minute. We're going to add some more lighting. We're going to go to the settings and uh, add like plenty of lighting here. Now, this really takes a huge toll on your uh, computer. Uh, put some participation. Maybe. Now nah, we're not going to put any participation. We're just going to put the lighting there. Uh, close it. Kind of turn around, just kind of give you some perspective. How awesome this looks! Then we're gonna continue flying on. Like I said, just imagine, close your eyes, and imagine Dolby Vision. C1 or C10 or even G1 and then uh, native 4K with 30 FPS and possibly ray tracing in the future update uh, and let, let, let your imagination go wild uh, as to how realistic this is going to look you know I even right now it looks you know like I said if I didn't know anything about video games if I didn't know anything about computers or graphics stuff like that uh, I would probably think that this was real you know if I was somebody who didn't know anything about that uh, but yeah just look at Cairo look how beautiful that's being rendered uh, look at these clouds now let's change the time. Um, look at this. And look at this beauty. I mean, I don't know how much better can it get, but I guess it can always get more realistic, I guess. It can get always more realistic, but uh, I don't know, man. Does it get any better than this? Now, 30 FPS. Do I have a problem with it? No. I don't think 60 FPS is a mandatory for Flight Simulator. Listen, it's always nice to have a 60 FPS running at full throttle with all the bells and whistles, but I'm okay with 30 FPS. I don't think anyone should complain about 
Xbox Series X uh, flight simulator being uh, 30 FPS with native 4K. Honestly, I don't think you guys should complain about that at all. Zero. You shouldn't complain about that. Um, so, look at the Nile River. Look how beautiful it looks, man. Even when you zoom in on it, it just looks amazing. Let's uh, fix the weather. Um, let's bring it up like this. Like that. And uh, let's fix the, the cloud. I'm going to fix this up a little bit. We're gonna do this a little bit earlier, like the midday, right there. Hey, look at this. Look at Cairo down there, man. Look at all that detail down in Cairo. Hey, look at this. Dude. By the way, all the comments uh, on my videos will be uh, subject to uh, for review uh, I got too many scammers too many uh, trolls and scammers so uh, you can leave a comment but the comments gonna be reviewed by me um, the same thing goes with the live streams when I do a live stream it's gonna be just a member chat only uh, if you wanna support me in what I do you know what you gotta do I don't need to repeat it here okay if you don't support me, then obviously you're not going to do anything. You're just going to sit there as a freeloader. So it is what it is. Uh, I'm not a, a Red Cross here. I'm not a free charity. Uh, keep that in mind, please. Don't take any offense on it. Don't get offended. Uh, the money doesn't grow in the tree for me either. Okay? I don't know. Maybe in your world the money grows in the tree. But with me, uh, I'm not doing this shit for free. Okay, end of story. If you like, like, don't, you don't, I don't care. But I'm not going to let you come in here uh, and uh, put some bullshit cryptocurrency crap advertisement shit with some scamming uh, ring of fake accounts that you created with all your fake other friends from whatever, you know, shithole you're operating from. So, guys, you have to understand this is internet. Uh, all kinds of assholes can come in on it. Uh, Google doesn't give a shit. Google, you know, doesn't have time to uh, filter all these a-holes. And they give opportunity, which I don't understand why Google do. I don't know why Google, why you do this. Why you are allowing people, why are you allowing these scammers? My, my message to big tech, why are you allowing these scammers to breed? and prosper on your uh, you know your platform why are you giving them that ability to do so if you are giving them that ability to do so that means that you don't care about content creator that means that you don't really give a shit about content creator you are letting these assholes make these fake accounts, and they will make them because they can stay anonymous. They can use the other VPNs to protect them so they can not be uh, decrypted. So why are you allowing these scumbags to be scumbags and to prosper on your platform? You allow them to do that. I know why. Because you want to get the traffic. You just care about the traffic. You just care about the number. You don't care about somebody like me who's honestly trying to bring 
some content creativity here who's trying to 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 share what I share instead you allow these a-holes to breed on your platform and then do what they do with their fake spamming scamming uh, rotten fake accounts coming here with their bullshit by you like to to you know talk about how you care about content creator and all this other bullshit uh, please save it save it I don't want to hear it uh, YouTube you don't care about content creators you only care about one thing one thing only traffic and revenue money that's all you care about but anyway so that's why uh, in case you're wondering why your comments are not showing up on this video just keep that in mind um, I don't have time for uh, internet bullshit scammers and all that crap uh, I gotta do what I gotta do I have to filter myself out and if you can't understand that well then too bad maybe you should create a YouTube channel and then maybe you should try to understand hey having these assholes come to breed on your channel it's not a fucking good deal uh, and if you want to support me I'm not forcing you but if you truly want to support me you know what you gotta do it's that simple you become a member it's only two dollars and if you can not spare two dollars well too fucking bad uh, then uh, too bad okay again I'm not a Red Cross charity here but I'm also not gonna put up with bullshit it's that simple nor should I put up with bullshit I will continue making videos I will continue live streaming but it's gonna be very simple set of rules you'll have to become a member and all the comments will be reviewed whenever I get a chance to review them maybe I'll get a chance sometimes to review them and that's it so that's the way it is don't blame me blame the Google Google is the one who's allowing this YouTube is the one who's allowing this uh, they allow these assholes to breed and they don't do anything about it they allow them to breed on their platform you know the cancel culture all these other a-holes scammers uh, faceless motherfuckers you know hiding behind a fucking you know different IP addresses and different VPNs and all that other bullshit so anyway there's the video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, it's great I can't wait to uh, honestly I really can't wait for July 20 27 uh, really I mean what 30 30 days 30 uh, almost one month honestly dude uh, can't wait I'm super excited can't wait and uh, Can I land this airplane? That's a good question. Can Mr. 4K land this thing? Can he do it? Come on, come on. I know you can do it, bro. I know you can do it. You better do it. You got this. Come on, dude. Yeah. 
We did it, bro. We did it. Okay. We did it, guys. All right. Well, listen. Uh, it is what it is, guys. I got to do what I got to do. I hope you understand that. And if you can't understand that, well, then obviously too bad, you know. But I got to do what I got to do. All right, guys. Don't blame me. Blame the YouTube. They're the one who allowed this kind of crap. And I'm not going to put up with that crap. You know, I cannot go back to public chat and deal with all, deal with all these assholes. Um, nor am I going to try to understand what their fucking problem is. Uh, I didn't create this world. It's not my fucking problem. It's their problem. But I don't have to put up with it. I don't have to deal with it. Um, so it's all going to be reviewed. Every comment will be reviewed. And um, if you want to interact with me, you know what you got to do. You have to become a member. And believe me, it's going to be better if you become a member. Okay? The experience will be better. I'll be able to help you. I'll be able to give you TV settings. I'll be able to answer some of the questions you might have regarding the, the Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation. I'll be able to help you with some of these questions that you have. There's a benefit by becoming a member for $2. All right. Well, there you have it. Thank you for watching. What can I say? Flight Simulator looks simply amazing. Amazing. And I can't wait for July 27th. Uh, it's a pretty big deal. Mark your calendars. For a very first time in history, 40 years, we get to see a console. And I'm pretty sure uh, Digital Foundry will, will have a bit on this. Richard will talk about you know Series X and S version. So can't wait for that too. And I can also wait to compare both uh, Series X and S uh, Flight Simulator. I know there's some games I need to compare on Series X and S. Uh, that's coming up soon. Uh, I've been busy, like I said. I wasn't feeling well. Uh, I checked my blood test today with my doctor. I'm okay. He just said I have to watch my cholesterol and all that. But, uh, you know, knock on the wood, man. The health is your best wealth. Everything else can go fuck itself. Uh, well, anyway... It's true. Health is the most important. That's your, that's your greatest lottery. Everything else, who gives a shit? You only got one life to live, man. All right, guys. For those of you who support me, I appreciate you. For those of you who don't support me, uh, that's cool too. But uh, if you don't support me, I don't know why you're here. So I don't get that. That To me, that's a, you're, you're like an alien from a different planet. I don't get that. I don't get that fetish. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Take care.